Welcome to part 1 of Source Engine Modding. I am Fanril and today I will teach you the process of decompiling models. What you need is Crowbar. This Source Engine Modding tool is developed by Sigma Car. You can use this to decompile and compile your models. Also required is Notepad++. This is a text editor that allows you to edit QC files. Someone whose name I cannot remember also made custom language packs which you can use to edit QC files even easier. Download links to everything you need will be in the description down below. Once you downloaded and installed everything, you can open Crowbar and go to the Options tab. On the left you have the Windows Explorer File Association menu. It allows you to associate MDL files with Crowbar. That means when you double click on an MDL file, Crowbar will open. For this tutorial I will be decompiling the rescue pilot from Left 4 Dead. At the very top you can see which model is being selected for decompiling. Down below is an output folder menu. You can select a subfolder, which will decompile the model straight to where the model is, or a full path folder. That way you can decompile it to a completely different folder. For example, I will make one on the desktop called pilot and the model is going to be decompiled there. Down below are the decompile options. You can select whatever you want down here. The QC file is required when you want to recompile the model for the game again. The reference mesh SMD file is the model itself. The bone animation is the animation of the model. It is not required to decompile it, but when you want to compile it again, and before you have it in game, you can use those animations to see if the model is rigged correctly. The texture BMP files is only used in a gold source engine. LOD mesh file is the level of detail. For decompiling, you don't really need it. The physics mesh is also only used when you want to recompile it again. The vertex animation is for the face flexes, only used for player models. Procedural bones, I have to be honest, I don't know what they are, I always just use them. Folder for each model is when you want to decompile a batch of models, every model will be in a separate subfolder. Format for strict importers is something new that Sigma Core added, I don't know what it is right now. The log file is just a decompile log. It would create a separate text file with everything that Crowbar went through when it was decompiling. It is not required. Decompile info comments and files will write comments and extra files that include decompile info useful for debugging. Which means that when you decompile something, and it doesn't work correctly, you can go to the Steam page of Crowbar and tell the developer that something went wrong. So I have now selected everything that I want and now I click the decompile button. Now on my desktop the pilot folder has files in it. A QC file, a reference file, and animations. You can now use those SMD files with whatever you want. I can now open Blender, import the SMD file from my desktop, and now I can do with this model whatever I want. That's about everything you need to know about decompiling models. I hope this tutorial provided itself useful for you. I would also like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my tutorials or mods. Mr. Funreel signing out.